Today is a pretty special day. So for a long time now, I've been trying to get access to uh, an MRI machine that can take videos of my mouth while I do equalization exercises. Basically, after a lot of digging around, a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, I have worked out that uh, only very specific or very special MRI machines are able to take real-time MRI video. So most places you go and you just get like an MRI image. But we, we needed to have a video of the moving parts of my mouth as I, as I equalize. Right, after a lot of emails, phone calls and headache, we found one and then after some further emails, phone calls and headache, they have agreed to let us use their MRI machine. Now it was a very tough process and a very expensive process. So thank you so, so much to all our patrons on Patreon for funding this project. Thank you so much. Uh, obviously you'll, you'll be the first one to see it. I've wanted to do this for such a long time. I've never actually seen what takes place in a person's mouth when they are equalizing. What, what is actually moving and how is it moving for different kinds of specific equalization? I mean, I think personally, this could advance our, our, our understanding of equalization a fair bit. So anyway, today we're off to John Hunter Medical Research Institute, which is a bit of a mouthful to say. Mouthful to say. I always get those things mixed up. <laughs> anyway, we're going to drive up there and get this thing going. It's like a nutritious breakfast. Is there anything better than banana bread when it's raining and cold? No. She's just a girl that thinks that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. He is not his son. Not my son. He is not his son. She's <laughs> a boy. Count sheep to pass the time. Found himself in a corner. Goodbye now. The <laughs> lion. All right. Then you lift up your head for us. Just a boy in a pasture. Working in the mountain. Got more than he bargained when he came along. It comes up, but this is where that's me. <laughs> How is that for you, baby? Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That was so epic. I spent an hour in that machine just clicking my little tongue around, doing these exercises. It was so cool. I feel like, I hope this is gonna have like a, a really positive effect on the freediving community. I feel like, or I hope that, that we're gonna learn a lot from these images, learn a lot from these, like these moving MRI images of us equalizing. So I'm just stoked that we can be doing things like this for the community. And the reason we can do that is because our patrons on Patreon. So thank you so much. Thank you so, so much to everyone that contributes to our Patreon. It's because you that we get access to these incredible machines. I'd love to know what you guys think we should do next because now that we've been in there, now that we have access to this facility, we can come back and do imaging on different parts of the body or different kinds of exercises. I'm interested to maybe do some, some imaging on, on my lungs and my heart as I do certain kinds of breathing or breath holds. So let me know if you have any cool ideas for things that we can do. And if you are keen to, to help support or fund what we're doing, hop onto Patreon and contribute there. Thank you guys so much. That was epic. And my ears are very over equalized right now. That's why I'm yelling because my sense of sound is warped. I've been equalizing for over an hour. <laughs> So I'm not actually certain, uh, let me know if you know of anyone that's done this before, but I think this is the first time that a free diver has done an MRI like this, or at least that we've had MRI visuals of equalization like this. Um, I think it is, I only say that because I've never seen anything like it before, but if you know anyone else that's done it, let me know, because I'd love to, I don't know, see how it went for them. How's it going, babe? Yeah, really cool. Uh, it's, it's, it's super interesting to see because I've like, never seen anything like this before. I've never been able to visualize what's actually going on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of these videos and we're going to whack them in the vlog. 
uh, and then the rest of them, so like all of the exercises, we're going to package and, and put together and put on our Patreon page. So if you are keen to see everything, head over to Patreon and you can check out the videos there. We've put a link in the description below. Um, so I'm going to go through this now. Alrighty, so what are we actually looking at here? Um, really quickly, I'll go through some of the anatomy. So right here at the upper back part of my mouth, that is my soft palate. Now connecting along the front side of that, on, along the roof of my mouth, that's my hard palate. This big thing here, it's a pretty, it's bigger than I expected it to be, <laughs> is my tongue. So that, that whole big muscle is my tongue. Now this little dangling thing that, that, that hangs off the back here, that's the epiglottis. Now the, the epiglottis, that folds over your trachea when you swallow and that, that's what um, I suppose like steers or directs food down your esophagus into your stomach. So the epiglottis doesn't really have anything to do with equalization though. So um, we'll just breathe past it. So right down here, this is my vocal fold. It also gets called a glottis. Um, I mean, like, for, for the purposes of this video, either will be fine, you know, glottis, vocal fold, it's where your vocal cords are. <laughs> and um, uh, this, this whole area, though, uh, so, re oh, so really quick, the, the vocal fold or the glottis, that's like what separates your, your trachea or your, like your, your thoracic cavity, your cavity going down into your lungs from your oral cavity up here in your mouth. That's how you open and close it. Um, but this whole area from the top of the epiglottis down to just underneath the glottis, it's called the subglottis, that whole area is your larynx. And the larynx plays a huge role in uh, equalization in general, and uh, we're, we're gonna see it moving quite a lot in these videos. All right, now in this video, I am inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So I suppose what we're seeing here is the, the changing position of this, primarily the soft palate, but also a little bit the tongue. So you can, you can see here as I, as I inhale the soft palate, goes down uh, against the back of the tongue, so the air goes down you know, past there. And then as I'm exhaling out of my mouth, soft palate moves up towards the back of the mouth. It, it doesn't look like it completely closes against the back of my throat, so it looks like there's still some air that goes out of my nasal passage. But you can see obviously the opening that, that is created so that the air can move out of my mouth. So that's, that's super cool to see because you know, so many free divers have issues with their soft palate when it comes to equalization, like their soft palate getting stuck up the back. So it's very cool to, to visualize that. All right, so here I am doing a T frenzel. So I am uh, doing a frenzel equalization where the front of the tip of my tongue is making contact with the front of the roof of my mouth. It's the position that your, that your tongue goes in to make the sound or the letter T. So, you know, what's really interesting for me watching this is that I, I think I had uh, thought that the actual base of the tongue itself would engage more, like lift more to create that pressure. But it seems like that the real pumping, the real work that's going on is coming straight, straight from the larynx. So um, the front of the roof, like the front of my tongue is just locked up against the front, but the real pumping that's creating the pressure uh, which in my nasal cavity, which is, you know, going to push that, that, that air through my station tubes to my middle ear, is coming from the larynx, just going bang, up, down, up, down, up, down. And uh, the base of the tongue itself just kind of hangs out and moves a little bit with it, but, you know, more or less immobile. This is me doing a frenzel equalization using the very back or the very base of my tongue to make a seal. I do it with the mouth closed and then with the mouth open and the tongue stuck out just to get a variation. So you can see here how the, really the back or the upper back of my tongue is, is creating that seal uh, with my soft palate itself while my larynx pumps, pumps up and down. Um, that, that's really interesting. Um, you know, uh, I, I suppose I, I didn't realize the soft palate itself would be strong enough to resist all that movement against it and still hold itself in an open position. Like you, the tongue there is moving up and down against it. I would have thought that potentially that would have pushed the soft palate close, but it seems like um, like there's the soft palate has its own resistance or, you know, to, to being closed up against the back of the throat. Because really all this part, like look at look how much Look how much pumping is going up and down from the larynx. Very, very cool to see. So that was the T frenzel and then, the, then another frenzel where I'm using the base of my tongue to equalize. All right, this is me doing a medium-sized reverse packs. 
So um, in this video, I'm, I'm, I'm like exaggerating and I'm making a sound, but you don't have to do that. I'm just exaggerating it so you know when I'm actually doing it and, and what I'm doing so you can hear me. Um, so in, in here, what I'm doing is I am uh, I lock my vocal fold on my glottis and then I, I drop my larynx down. As I'm dropping it down, I open the vocal fold or, 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 the, or the glottis back up and, and I, do, I, I create suction to draw the air up from my lungs. So I'm using my throat to create suction and suck the air up from my lungs. Um, now this is how we get air from the lungs into the mouth or into the oral cavity for, um, for frenzel equalization. So this is me doing reverse packs. And um, I don't think there's any real surprises there for me. I think it's interesting to see that, that the, um, the soft palate doesn't seem to really play a role. Like it doesn't, I don't think the soft palate goes up against the back of the throat to help create some kind of a seal or to help create, you know, some kind of, a, to help stop airflow from moving around. I thought my, maybe that would have been the case. And it seemed like it might have been the case when I was just feeling things in my mouth, but it's just really cool to visualize that. But like, that's a reverse pack happening. Uh, you know, the glottis closes, the larynx drops down, the glottis opens, and then we create suction. We suck it up, suck the air up from the lungs. Very, very cool. Here I am charging a mouth fill. I'm charging, charging the air into my oral cavity and my nasal cavity at the same time, pushing air all up in there. And uh, you can see, oh wow. Okay, so you, you, you know what's really interesting here is that uh, look at what my tongue is doing. Look how my tongue balls up and bunches up down at the bottom like that when I'm charging up a mouth fill. I had no idea that was going on. Um, I'm gonna just... Yeah, when I, when I play with it now, I actually can feel my tongue compressing down like that, compacting down. But um, yeah, look, look out. So you can see how much everything opens up. Like, look at all the airspace that, that gets created in the, the, in the throat, like in the actual base of the throat there. And the tongue bunches down to, to like, uh, allow more air to pass in front of it and into the cheeks. That's, that's very, very cool to see. All right, this is me doing a constant pressure mouth fill. So I've, I've just moving on from the last one, I've taken that charge, that big mouth fill, and now I am applying just enough pressure to keep my ears constantly equalized. So first of all, I push down with like an even amount of pressure with the cheeks, and then I shift the air, that's what I'm doing right now, shift the air behind my tongue, and then I slowly roll, roll, roll the tongue back um, to, to constantly create pressure in the ears or to constantly keep my ears equalized to create pressure against these station tubes. Uh, so that's what's going on here and now we're going to see what it looks like with MRI. Alright, so here I am, coming in that position, uh, soft palate well and truly open and it seems like I yeah, put my tongue in the T position I start to roll it back. Okay. And there we go, so that's me taking a mouth fill. Um, you know what's really interesting for me watching this video is I thought that once once I put my tongue into that front position that I would uh, have a lot of space behind the tongue where air is situated and then I'd slowly roll the tongue back. But it seems like what I've done here is I'm very quickly um, just, uh, just placing the tongue all along the roof of the mouth and where the big air pocket really is, is actually in the throat, like right behind the tongue, like not, even, not above the tongue, not anywhere um, along the roof of the mouth, but like right there behind the tongue. Now that's really cool to see. Now I'm not sure if that's just how it's, like that's just how I'm doing a mouth fill, or if that's mouth fills in general, um, but look at that, like uh, it's, it's like that, that's right where, uh, that, that's where all the air is stored, right, right behind the tongue, like, like uh, near the epiglottis, uh, at, the, at the base of the throat. And it, it makes so much sense, you know how people are always swallowing their mouth fills as they go down, people are diving down, they swallow their mouth fill. It makes so much sense as to why that would happen, because look where, when you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, look where all the pressure is being placed, look where all the air is, so look where there is all that potential for it to be lost, down, down through the, the glottis, past like the vocal fold, back into the lungs. Very, very cool. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed those videos. I hope you learned something. The rest of the videos are on our Patreon, so feel free to check out the links down below. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. We'd very much appreciate that. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Sorry we've been a little MIA. We've actually just been in the process of moving.
we moved house. It was horrible. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we hope you like those exercises. We hope they're helpful. Let us know what you think. And uh, we will see you in the water somewhere. <laughs> this video was made possible because of our patrons. Learn how you can support us and get access to the world's most complete freediving manual by clicking here. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you might want to check out this video because I think you will like it.